Now we come to Surah Yasin. You must have heard the saying of the Prophet sallallahu that Surah Yasin is the heart of Quran. Surah Yasin, Kalbul Quran. Now what does it mean? I, I can only have an idea of mine, but nothing can be said absolute, with absolute certainty. One thing is that when you read Surah Yasin, you actually feel as if, you know, the beating of a heart. So that is the style. I told you this is the same style as we have already seen in Surah Sajda. The styles of these two surahs are very similar to each other. Number two, as I told you, there are six groups of Makki surahs. Although there are seven groups of Makki Madani surahs, I have told some, many times. But in the first group, the Makki surah is only Surah Al-Fatiha. We can ignore. Very small surah. So actually there are six groups. The first two were revealed in the last four years of, of the stay of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at Makkah. Except first surah al hijr The middle two were revealed during the middle four years of his stay at Makkah. The last two groups were revealed during the first four years of his stay at Makkah. Number two, in the first two groups, the main subject, although you know the subject of Iman Billah, faith in Allah, faith in messengerhood, faith in resurrection, these are the basic things. In every Makki Surah, they are discussed in detail, repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. But there is a distribution. In the first two groups, the main subject is messengerhood. In the middle two, it's the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the monotheism. And in the last two groups, it is the resurrection. In Zar, warning that you will be resurrected, and then you will be rewarded and recompensed for what you have been doing here. Now these middle two groups, this they comprise of eight surahs which have, we, we have already read. Surah Al-Furqan, Surah Al-Shura, Surah Al-Naml, Surah Al-Qasas, Surah al ankabut Surah al rum Surah al luqman and Surah al sajda And then we had Surah al ahzab which is Madani Surah. From there this fifth group has started now. And we have read Surah al fatir Surah al sabah and now we are at Surah Yasin. These are 13 Surahs total. Then we shall have three Surahs which are Madani. Surah al fatir and Surah al hujarat and Surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, if you join them together, these two groups, 8 plus 13, they are 21. Now, 21 is the figure, in the center is 1. 10 to this side, 10 to this side. And we have this Yasin in this position. Central position of the two central groups of Makki Surahs, 10 Surahs before it. Eight, those which I enumerated, Surah Al-Furqan to Surah Al-Sajda. And two more after Ahzab, that is Surah Al-Sabah or Surah Al-Fatir. And ten will come after Yasin, which we, we shall be inshallah reading tomorrow and day after, etc. And also because this Yasin is placed in the Quran, not in the center. The center should be Surah Al-Bani Israel or Surah Al-Kahf. And the word is there in Surah Al-Kahf. That is just half of the letters of Quran. But you know, because heart is also not placed in the center of the chest. It is to one side. So this is another thing. So these are the things which cross your mind. That why the Prophet said that this surah is the heart of the Quran. Maybe something of it is true. Maybe it's the wrong conjecture. Allah knows best. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم by the wise Quran I swear by the Quran which is full of wisdom إن كلام المرسلين here please identify two things whenever there is a قسم in Quran an oath we have to see on what thing Allah is taking this oath in Arabic we say مقسم به مقسم عليه 
Swearing by what? And swearing on what? I swear, I am telling you the truth. My swearing is, I swear by God. I am swearing by God that what I am saying is true. And this is the thing, this statement of mine on which I am swearing. So, muksam dehi, muksam aleh. We have to identify these things when understanding Quran, pondering over Quran. And this is very important place. Wal Quran il Hakim. By this book, this is the proof in the Kalabin al Mursaleen that you are a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Quran actually is the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah challenged people thrice in Quran, in Surah four times, in Surah Bani Israel, then Surah Hud, then Surah Yunus, then lastly Surah Baqarah. فَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبِ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدُنَا فَاتِمُ سِرَةُ مِمَّا مِسْلِهِ وَأَنُوا شُعَدَاكُمْ مِنْ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ فَإِن لَمْ تَفْعَلُوا وَلَنْ تَفْعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا نَارَ الَّتِي وَقْبُدُوا هَنَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ If you have any doubts about this book that we have sent to our our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you also compose a surah like this. Come on! And you call all people whom you can as your helpers from jinnat, from humans. But if you can't meet this challenge, and you will not be able to meet it. See, فَإِنْ لَمْ تَفَعَلُوا وَلَمْ تَفَعَلُوا If you don't do it, then you will not be able to do it. And this is the fact. Nobody, not the severest enemy of Muhammad could stand up and say, well, I have composed a surah. I say this is equal to Quran. Now we should have some body, some persons to decide whether actually it is, it is like Quran or not. No, no. Nobody dared come forward. So this is the proof of the messengerhood of Allah. Of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yaseen wal Quran in Hakim inna ka labin al Mursaleen. Ala sirati mustaqeen. And you are on the straight path. Tanzeel al-Aziz al-Rahim in this book is descending down from Allah who is al-Aziz having all authority, al-Rahim, all merciful. Let tunzira common so that you warn the nation. Maunzira abahum whose fathers were not warned. We never sent any messenger to Banu Ismail after Ismail. More than 2,000 years have passed. Fahum ghafilun. Now this fahum is very good, very important. That is why they are absolutely heedless and aware. They never knew what is messengerhood, what is prophethood. They never knew what is a book sent by Allah. All these things are absolutely new for them. But now that you have preached to them and conveyed to them these messages and they are refusing and refuting, now the word of punishment has become applicable to them already. They deserve the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَأُمْلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And they are not going to come to believe now. إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا فِي عَنَاقِهِ مَغْلَالٌ We have put fetters in their necks. فَأَيَّا إِلَى الْأَزْخَانِ And now they are reaching their chins, level of their chins. فَأُمْ مُقْمَعُونَ Now they are, you know, their necks, they are turned upwards because there are fetters here. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْ بَيْنِ عَيْدِيهِمْ صَدَّمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ صَدَّا And we have put a barrier in front of them, before them, and behind them. فَأُمْ لَا يُبْسِرُونَ Now they cannot see. When there is a wall in front of you, a wall behind you, what will you do? Now what it denotes to? The idea that I prefer, there are different sayings of the Mufassirin, that behind them are the historical proofs. أَيَّامُ اللَّهِ what had been happening before messengers coming and nations destroyed. This is behind them. The history is behind them. And in front of them, this is the whole universe. And there are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spread over all this universe. But they are not seeing that. Now, nor to these signs, nor they are paying any heed to the historical. This is the same ayah which we have 
in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah also. Now it is alike to them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whether you warn them or not, they are not going to believe. In the matter of Jeruman, Zikra, you can warn only that person who follows the admonition. Wa Rahmana Bil Ghaib. And he fears Rahman, the compassionate Allah, in the unseen. To such a person, you give the glad tidings of forgiveness and great reward. Inna nahnu nahil mawta, we will revive the dead. Wa naktubu ma qaddamu wa asara, when we are writing, recording, what they have sent before them and what they are leaving behind them. Now these are two aspects of our deeds. Some of our deeds we have already sent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are recorded. Whatever we do in our life, before that, as if we have already sent, you know, these deeds to the hereafter. And then when we leave, we leave behind us either something good or bad. If you have left behind you a God-fearing son, then his good deeds will add to your, will be credited to your accounts also. And if you have left behind you a bad son, who is a, in revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then his misdeeds will be discredited to you also. So this is what you have said, left behind. Somebody has started an institution, a good institution, for the spread of the knowledge of the Book of Allah. Now till such time that this institution is there, and people are getting the knowledge of Allah's Book from this, you know, this will be added up to the account of the person who established this institution in the first instance. So Allah says, إِنَّا نَحْنُ نُحْيِ الْمَوْتَى وَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَدَّمُوا وَأَسَارَهُمْ وَكُلَّ شَيْنَ أَحْسَيْنَاهُ فِي إِمَامِ مُبِينَ And everything we have computed in a manifest register. وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَسَلَّمْ أَصْحَابَ الْقَرِيَةِ Now you strike for them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a similitude of the people of a township. إِذَا جَاءَ الْمُرْسَلُونَ When a number of messengers came to them, most of the Mufassirin think that they were actually the disciples of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wa sallam, Hawariyin. Because after Isa alayhi salam was lifted to the heavens, now these Hawariyin, they propagated the word of Isa alayhi salatu wa sallam. And this word, Rasul, you know, and it is applicable to both. Allah sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam, so he is the Rasul of Allah. Muhammad sent someone, you convey this message to fla, for such and such person, now he is the Rasul. That is why, you know, when the Prophet sent Hazrat Umar Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu in Medina, go and get the bayah of women on my behalf. He went to the place where the women were gathered and he said, Ana Rasulo Rasulillah. I am the messenger of the messenger of Allah. So he was also a messenger, messenger from the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these were the messengers of a messenger of Allah, that is Jesus, Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. These are sallam ilayhi musnayn, when we sent to them two, فَقَزَّبُهُمَا They belied both of them, فَعَزَّزْنَا بِسْتَعْلِسِنْ Then we strengthened with one more, third one, فَقَالُوا إِنَّا إِلَيْكُمْ مُرْسَلُونَ They said, verily we, are, we have been sent to you. قَالُوا مَا أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا بَشَرُمْ مِسْلُونَ They said, you are nothing but mortal human beings like us. وَمَانْذِرَ الرَّحْمَانُ مِنْ شَيْءِ And the compassionate Allah has not sent down anything. إِنْ أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا تُكَذِبُونَ You are only telling a lie. قَالُوا رَبَّنَا يَعْلُمُ They said, our Lord knows. إِنَّا إِلَيْكُمْ لَمُرْسَلُونَ We have been sent by Him to you. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ But our responsibility is only to convey to you in the clear words. That's all. قَالُوا إِنَّا تُطَيِّرْنَا بِكُمْ They said, we take you as a bad omen, as a ill augur. وَلَئِنْ لَمْ تَنْتَهُ If you don't stop what you are saying, don't desist, لَنَرْجُمَنَّكُمْ 
وی شیل اسٹون یو ٹو ڈیتھ بولے یا مسن کو منا عذاب العلیم اینڈ ویری سیویئر چیسٹائزمنٹ ول کم ٹو یو فرام اس کالو تائر کم ماکم دے سیڈ ول دس بیڈ اومن اف یورز از وتھ یو آئی ایم لوکنگ تو یو ار اینگری اونلی بیکاز یو ہیو بین ایڈمونشڈ وی ٹرائی ٹو ریمائنڈ یو اف یور لارڈ بل انتم قوم المسرفون نو بٹ یو ار اے ویری پروڈیجل پیپل وہ جا میں اصل مدینہ کے نجول یسا and now from the farthest end of the city a person came running qala ya qaum tabil mursalin he said oh my people oh my nation follow these people who have been sent ittabu man la yasalukum ajran wa hum mutadun follow them who are not asking you for any wages for any reward and they are on the right path wa mali ya la'budu alladhi fatarani wa ilayhi turja'un and what can be to me what can prevent me from worshiping the one who had created me and to him you will all be returned wa ma li ya la abud alladhi fatarani wa ilayhi turja'un attakhidu min dunihi alihatan in yuridun rahman bi durrin la tughni anni shafa'atuhum shay'an wa la yunqizun انی اذن لفی ضلال مبین انی امنت بربکم فاسمعون قیل ادخل الجنہ قال یا لیت قومی یعلمون بما غفر لی ربی وجعلنی من المکرمین صدق الله العظیم we were reading the account of three as far as we can understand three of the disciples and hawariyin of hazrat masih alaihi salatu wassalam and they say that the city to which they went was antioch in takia there this thing happened now when this argument was going on between these three messengers and the people one person from their own city he came running and he said that we should believe in them we should accept them wa mali ya abud alladhi fatarani what can be the reason that i should not worship that allah who has created me originally and to him you are going to be returned atakhidu min dunihi alihatan is it justifiable that i should have besides him gods in yuridun rahmanu bi durrin la tughni anni shafa'atuhum shay'a if rahman the real god allah if he wants and wishes for something for me you know if any harm is to come from him their intercession will not be of any avail to me wala yunqizun they will not be able to save me inni yadal lafi dalali mubin then why should we worship them then in this case that case we are in manifest error inni amantu bi rabbikum fasma'un now listen i come to believe in the lord towards whom these people are calling inni amantu bi rabbikum I have come to believe in your Lord. First, my own. Listen it. Till at Khulil Jannah. Immediately it was sent to him. Said to him, "Enter the paradise." What does it mean? Those people killed him instantaneously. They were so outraged that this person belonging to our own city, our own people, our own nation, and now he is siding with these people. So he killed him. They killed him, and you know. about the shuhada people who are killed in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala they enter paradise the same moment instantaneously instantaneously they don't have to wait for the day of judgment they go directly so qilat khuril jannah immediately it was said to him enter the jannah enter the garden qala ya laita qaumi ya'lamu now he was saying would that my people had known bima ghafara li rabbi wa ja'alani min al-mukramin how my lord has forgiven me all my sins and he has made me so honorable gave me this much honor in this garden of jannah now this is the contrast you know if there is wife of that person she must have been weeping my husband has been killed parents must have been weeping children must have been crying anything but he himself he is in the heavens 
And he says, Would that my people know. Why should they weep? I am in a much better position here. I have been honored by my Lord. There is no need of weeping. Ya laita qawmi ya alamuna bima ghafara li rabbi wa jalani min al-mukramin wa ma anzalna ala qawmihi min baadihi min jundin wa min al-samai wa ma kunna munzaleen and we didn't have to send an army, a host against those people from the heavens and we never send such hosts from the heavens in kaanat illa sayhatan wahidatan it was but a single shout faizahum khamidu so all these people you know they were extinct as if a fire which was raging and blazing, but now extinguished. Khamidu. So this punishment and chastisement came to the people of that town. Ya Hasratun Adal Ibad, alas for the servants. Ma yatihim in Rasulin illa kanu bihi istahzeum. Whosoever of the messengers comes to them, they mock at him. Alam yarao ka mahalakna qablahum minal qurun Have not they seen how many a generation we had destroyed before them Annahum ilayhim la yarji'oon That those are not going to come back now They are people of the past They are Adam Samud They can't return Wa in kullu lamma jamiun ladayna muhdaroon And surely all, every one of them Shall be presented before us on the day of judgment They will be there standing in front of us, for the accountability, the great accountability of that day. وَآيَةٌ لَهُمُ الْأَرْضُ الْمَيْتَةِ A sign for them is the dead land, barren land, no signs of life. أَحْيَا إِنَاهَا We revive it, we give life to it, after rain. وَأَخْرَجْنَا مِنْهَا حَبَّنْ مِنْهُ يَاكُلُونَ And from that we now bring forth grain, which they eat. وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا جَنَّاتٍ مِنْ نَخِيرِ In addition, we set up there the gardens of date palms and grapes. وَفَجَّرْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ الْعُيُونَ And we caused the springs to gush through it. لِيَاكُلُوا مِنْ سَمَرِهِ So that these people, human beings, may eat from its fruit. وَبَا عَمِلَتْهُ عَدِيهِمْ And these things have not been manufactured by their hands. Have they manufactured these dates and these grapes and this corn and this wheat? Who has manufactured them? You eat them. But who has manufactured them? Their own hands have not created them. So don't they be grateful? Give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created all these things for them. سُبْحَانَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْأَزْوَاجَ كُلَّهَا مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ وَمِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَمِمَّا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Glorified is He who created pairs of everything. All the things in pairs. مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ Also those things which are grown from the land. وَمِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ From among themselves. They are pairs. Man, woman, wife, husband. وَمِمَّا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And there are pairs in those things also which they don't know. But our creations are all paired. They are in pairs. وَإِمْ مِنْ شَيْنِ اللَّا خَلَقْ لَا زَوْجَيْنِ لَا عَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ In Surah Zariyat, this ayah will also come. وَآيَةٌ لَهُمُ اللَّيْلِ In the same way, for them is a sign this night. نَسْلَخُ مِنْهُ النَّهَارِ We draw from there, from the night, the day. فَإِذَاهُمْ مُزْلِمُونَ now, they are in darkness, they can't see anything. وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّ اللَّهَا And the sun is running its course, which has been fixed for it. ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَسِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ This is the decree of the mighty and the wise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْقَبَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَا As for the moon, we have ordained its phases. حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُرْدُونِ الْقَدِيمِ Till it returns like an old withered palm stalk. لَشَّمْسَ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا لَشَّمْسَ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا تُدْنِكَ الْقَمَرِ It is not for the sun to overtake the moon. وَلَلَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ 
nor does the night outspeak the day. Kullun fi falaki yasbahoon. All these heavenly bodies, they are floating in their own orbits. Wa'ayatullahum anna hamalla zuriyatahum fil fulkil mashhoon. And the sign for them is that we laden, we carried the, their offsprings in the laden ship. Most of the Mufassirin say that this is a reference to the ark of Hazrat Nur as Because all humanity is the offspring of three sons of Hazrat Nur who were there in that boat or ark. So as if the whole humanity was being carried at that time, the future, the coming humanity, mankind, all was by carried by that boat. أَنَّ حَمَلَّا زُبِّلَ تَهُمْ فِي الْفُلْكِ الْمَشْحُونَ وَخَلَقْنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ مِسْلِهِ مَا يَرْكَبُونَ And we have created for them like that other things on which they ride. Because now after those small boats, then there came the steam boats, now the big ships like, you know, mountains. وَإِنَّ شَاءَ نُغْرِقْهُمْ And if you like, if we decide, we will drown them. فَلَا صَرِيخَ لَهُمْ so nobody will come to their cry, listen to their cry and come for help. And they will not be saved from it. Illa rahmatam minna. Except if there is our mercy. And then we spare them for some period of time so that they can enjoy. And when it is said to them, you should fear what is before you and what is behind you, so that you may be you may be shown mercy. Allah might show mercy to you. Now, what is behind them? The chastisements that came to the nation of Nuh and who and Saleh and so on and so forth behind. What is before them? The chastisement which is coming to them, not very far off, in the battle of Badr, seventy of them will be lying in the ground dead, including Abu Jahl and Luqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt. Very big chieftains, all killed. So, اِتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَا اَيْدِيَكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ وَمَا تَعْتِهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُرَدِينَ And to them doesn't come any sign from the signs of their Lord, but they refrain from it. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَا رَضَقَكُمُ اللَّهِ And when it is said to them, you should spend for the needy, for the poor, from which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا It's a very interesting answer. These disbelievers say, لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا To these people who have come to believe and who are exhorting them to spend their money on the needy, on the poor, أَنُوْتْعِمُوا مَنْ لَوْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ أَتْعَمَا should we feed those whom if Allah had wanted, He could have fed Himself? If He decided not to feed, why should we feed? Actually, we will be doing against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look to the argument. It's quite logical. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for them that they should get, go hungry and I try to feed them, what does it mean? I'm going against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Antu Billah, he is Alim Mubeen. What you are saying and what you believe, you are in manifest error. وَيَقُولُونَ مَتَاهَدُ الْوَعْدُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ And they say, when will this promise come to pass if you are truthful? مَا يَنْذُرُونَ إِلَّا سَحَةً وَاحَدَةً But they are not waiting except for a shout, one shout. تَاخُذُهُمْ It will seize them. وَهُمْ يَخِسِّمُونَ and they will be disputing, arguing. But suddenly a shout will come, and they'll be all dead. Just as you know, when this Niyama comes, it will be a sound, trumpet will be blown. That shout of the trumpet, it will be become the cause of death of everything. So you can die due to some noise, yes. If it reaches its intensity and its volume reaches that level, you can't bear it, and you'll die. فَلَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ تَوْسِيَةٌ وَلَا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ يَرْجِعُونَ 
then they will not be able to make a bequest, nor they will be able to return to their families. Manufakafisur, and then a time is to come when the trumpet will be blown. Faizahu min al ajdasil arabihim yansinun, and you will find that suddenly they come out of their graves and they are going towards their Lord. Talu ya wailana mam baasara bi martadina. They will say, woe to us. Who has roused us from the sleeping of place of ours? And then they will say, Oh, Hada Mawada Rahman. Now they will come to their senses. This is what Rahman, the compassionate, had promised. And now we come to know that the messengers, whatever they said, was true. In Kanatilla Sahatan Wahidatan. Then again there will be one shout. And suddenly you will find all of them standing before us, presented before us. Now no soul is going to be wronged in any way. You will be rewarded only that which you have been doing. No zulm. No wrong from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna ashab al-jannat in liyawma fi shogul in faqihun. On the other side, on the contrary, the inhabitants of the garden of jannah, of paradise, they will be busy in rejoicing. Very. Hum wa aur azwajuhum fi zilalin ala laraay ke muttakihun. They and their spouses, their wives or husbands, they will be in the shades of the garden, reclining upon couches. For them, they will be all type of fruits. And everything that they will order will be provided. Everything, everything they order will be provided. Salamun qawlam min Rabbir Rahim. In addition to all this, Salam would be said to them as a message from the Lord, who is merciful. Salam from Allah to you, who have entered His garden of paradise. And as for you, O oh culprits, separate yourself from them. Oh mankind, O oh progeny of Adam, didn't I make a covenant with you? Allah ta'abudu shaitan. Don't obey and don't follow Satan. Innahu lakum aduwu mubeen. Verily, he is for you a clear enemy. Wane buduni. And that you should obey me and worship me. Hada siratu mustaqeem. This is the straight path. Walakad awallam inkum jibillan kaseera. That's Satan. He led astray a great number of you. Afalam takunu taakilun. So were you not understanding? Where had your understanding gone? Where was your faculty of understanding? Now this is the hell which you were being promised. Enter it now. Today enter it. Due to the disbelief that you have been having in the world. Today we shall put a seal on their mouths. But tukallimuna aidihim. Their hands will talk to us. They will testify what they used to do with their hands. But tashadu arjuruhum. Their feet, their legs will testify. Oh Allah, this person used to use me to go and commit a robbery or a theft or something else. These legs. They have been given to me and you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are a trust with us, with me, with you. We have to use them according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They actually protest when we use them. To the contrary. And on the day of judgment, they will testify against us. We shall have in Surah Hamim as When, you know, the people of Jahannam will say to their skins, why have you testified against us? 
our own skins testifying against us. And these skins will reply, Today Allah has given us tongue to speak, who gave the tongue to everybody, everything. And we have to speak out. Their hands and feet will testify to what they had been doing. And if we like, wish, we can wipe out their eyes. Then they will run and race to the way. But they won't be able to see. This is the stage of which we call Pul Sirat. This has been mentioned in Surah Al Hadid and Surah Al Tahreem. A stage will come when those people who claim to be Muslims in this world they will be made to pass there. But there will be absolute darkness. But those who had Iman in this world they will have some light. Who had Earned good deeds, they will have a light. So with this, that light, help of the light, they will pass over this bridge. But though those who didn't have Iman, nor real good deeds, they will have no light and they will fall down. Beneath that bridge is Jahannam. So it is that. First Tabakus Salat, they will try to pass that bridge, that Salat, that straight path. But how? Fadna yub but they can't see. Walauna shaula masakhnahum wala makanatihim. And if you will, we would have certainly transformed them into animals and beasts. So mastatau mudiyan wala yarjiun. So they won't be able to go forward, nor be able to return. Wa man no am mirhu nunaki sufil khalka fala yakilun. Whomsoever we give long life in this world. We reverse him in the creation. A time come when Kaila Yalama Mimbade Ilmin Shaya. All intelligence, all understanding, all knowledge, all memory is also gone. I don't know whether Regan is still living or died, dead. He's still living. But what is has happened to him, everybody knows. Some time back, you know, it was we I had read that only his wife he could recognize. I don't know whether now he recognizes the wife also or not. But this thing happens. So don't you understand? And we have not taught Muhammad poetry. And poetry is not worthy of him. We have read this in Shura also. Here also. He is not a poet. There we have read. Here 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 this is only an admonition and a manifest Qur'an. The yunzara man kana hayyan, so that it warns whom, warns him, who is really alive, really alive. Abu Jahl seems to be alive, really he is dead. Abu Lahab seems to be alive, really he is dead. Only those who are really alive, they can be warned. And they can avail of the warning. And the word of punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to be true regarding the disbelievers. Don't they see that out of which we have created with our own hands, we have created for them cattle. And they become the owners of that cattle. Created by us, they become owners. We created the fruit, everything, they eat it. We created the cattle, they own it. And we have subdued these cattle to them. So on some of them, they ride. And 
from some they eat the meat walahum fiha manafi' wa masharib in addition there are other benefits for them in these cattle and drinking things you get the milk afala yashkurun don't they give thanks to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa takhadhu min dunillahi alihatan and they have adopted besides allah other gods la'allahum yunsarun so that maybe they are helped on the day of judgment this was the basic creed of the mushrikeen haulai shufa'una indallah they never said la tuzza or hubul they are, they are the creators of this world no 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 not at all we have read so many times wala in salta man khalaqa samawati wal ard la yaqulun allah if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they will say allah allah is creator neither la nor uzza nor manat nor hubul no none of them but they are intercessors they are beloved of allah and they were interceded on our behalf how la shufa'una indallah but that was you know the mistake that they created wa takhadhu min dunillahi alihatan la'allahum yunsarun and they have adopted gods besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they may be helped la yastati'una nasrahum they will not be able to help them wa hum lahum jundun muhdarun rather they will be a host brought up by them they will pre- present oh allah these are the culprits who thought that we we would be able to help them against your verdict against your command so they will they will be enemies to them fala yahum ka qawluhum so muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whatever they are saying you should not be grieved with it inna na'lamu ma yusirruna wa ma yu'linu no yu'linun we very well know what they are hiding in their hearts and chests and what they are saying many of them in their heart believe that you are the messenger of allah but they can't accept it because if they believe in you then you they have to follow you they have to obey you and their arrogance that is actually the barrier when abu jahl was once asked do you think muhammad is a liar he is telling a lie oh, no 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 he never told a lie then why don't you accept him he said no between our family and the family of banu hashim banu umayya and banu hashim there was a competition they fed people we fed more they served the hujjaj people who come to baitullah for hajj and we served more than them so there was a competition going on between our clans now if we accept him as prophet but we shall be we slave to them for all time to come because babar sallam ir rasulin illa la yuta'a bi iznillah now to obey him will be sure for us i am not ready for that clear give the devil is due he said what was in his mind he accepted no he never he never told a lie so fala yahzun ka qawluhum don't be grieved with what are they are saying in the nalam ma yusirruna wa ma yulun don't be very well know what they are hiding in their hearts and what they are saying out awalam yar insana anna khalaqnahu min nutfatin fa idha wa khasimu mubin does not man see that we created him out of a sperm drop and then he has become a person who is disputing with us arguing against allah rejecting the revelation of allah this is his position he should recall what he was from what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created him wa zaraba lana masalan and he strikes similitudes for us man nasiya khalqa and he forgets his own creation from what we had created him qala man yuhyi al-ghama wa huwa ramim he says who will be able to revive the dead bones when they will be decayed and rotten you say they will be revived it is direction when the bones will be decayed and rotten who will revive them now the answer is very beautiful قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ Say to them, 
It is he who will revive, who manufactured them, created them, originated them for the first time. They were created. Someone created them. Now he can recreate. Doing a thing again for the second time is always easier than to do it for the first time. قُلْ يُوْهِيَ الَّذِي يَنْشَاهَا وَلَا مَرَّهَ وَهُوَا بِكُلِّ شَيْنَ عَلِيمَ But he knows everything. Now what is the, you know, connotation of this? He knows everything. Because, you know, some young man would say, when we should be disintegrated, our cells will be disintegrated, our genes will be disintegrated. Now these genes will go to some grass or some other thing that will be eaten by the by the gods, etc. How can these things be t gathered together though again? Allah says we have the total knowledge of which gene and which cell of whom is where. بِكُلِّ شَيْنْ عَلِيمٌ الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّجَرِ الْأَخْضَرِ نَعْرَى The one who brought out fire for you from the green tree. فَإِذَا أَنْتُمْ مِنْهُ تُوْكَدُونَ and you kindle fire from it. Our lesson, Nazi Khalaqa Samawati Malar, Dabi Qadrin Allah Yakhluqa Mislam. Think for the last time. Is not He who created the heavens and the earth powerful enough to create the like of them? To create beings like them. Wahual Khalaqul Alim. He is the creator, supreme creator. And knower of everything. In the Mamru is a Rada Shayana Yakula who could Fayakun. Verily, his command, when he has decided something to create something, is only that he says, Kun, be Fayakun, and it becomes. That is the condition of his command. فَسُبْحَانُ الَّذِي بِيَدَهِ مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ So glory is for him in whose hand is the dominion of everything, sovereignty of everything, مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to him you will be returned.